The natural man cannot understand the things or the assignments of God, nor can he discern them. 1 Corinthians 2.14, the natural man can't understand the things of God, nor can he process them. They make no sense to the natural man. So you got to put on your faith lenses to even see what God has designed for you. We talked about that the other week. And this is so tough. The scripture says, uh, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. I, I might be skipping. I think I have that already. All things are passed away. All things become new. Uh, all things are passed away. So it's hard for us to cross over into the, the light that God has for us and we're holding on to the old things, the old philosophies, the old way of doing things. You know, we talked about it in a, a guy talk yesterday. You know, to, you know, the scripture says you can't put new wine in old wine skins. So we're trying to cross over to this new wonderful life. Guy is for us. He's like, you know, you know how like, uh, uh, oh, this is good. You sign a contract with the NBA, right? Now you don't bust your butt. You don't work hard. Finally, you made it. You don't even want to run it. You don't even want lifting. You don't even want being humiliated and put down. But it seemed like the whole posse coming along with you. Matter of fact, it's like that day, they cash in their dreams and say, no, I'll just ride yours. And, but the interesting thing is, you notice how it's hard for people to, to, to elevate in, in, their, in their world of dreams because they bring in their old life. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. So it's hard for you to cross over into the head of life Carrying an earthly weight. Jesus was about to leave because Jesus was heavenly minded. So Jesus was like, hey man, I'm about to be crucified. I'm out of here now. Now he rode with his disciples. You know, they, they're going around. <clears throat> they only got a few loaves of fish. He feeds 5,000, feeds 3,000. You know, uh, they're in trouble on the sea. He walks on the water, shows up. What's going on, man? You guys having trouble? You need some help? He calms the storms in the sea. Spits in clay, slaps it in somebody's eye, and heals them. They come to arrest him. He, uh, 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 Peter cut the guy's ear off, picked the ear up, put it back on the heel. So Jesus is walking around healing. Matter of fact, he walked into town and healed every man of disease. So that's like walking into Charlotte, and we go to the hospitals, which I've never seen this. I've been doing hospital business for years. And everybody thinks differently, but my mind thinks. I, I walked in the hospital one day, I said, I know it's a problem, I was always full. Packed! Very rarely do you see a, ho a hospital parking lot not full. But, but, but picture Jesus coming in town, healing all manner of disease. That's like the parking lot of the hospitals are empty. Wow. That's just, you got to take, yeah, use your imagination and look back at his time. So imagine the impact that he had. So, so, and you, and you one of his right hand dudes. You just, you was boy, you were one. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. The other day, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of the disciples. I'm a disciple. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know everybody, everybody. The one person, man, he said leg grew. Uh, dude couldn't see. But that's how we roll, man. You know, this is how we roll. That's all. Then Jesus shows up after he don't gave you a little like I'm sweet because I'm with Jesus. And Jesus goes. Oh, uh, I'm about to be crucified, be senseless. Uh, they're going to nail me on the cross, and I'm going to die. So Peter, everybody else thought it. You know, like I'm the pastor, people be thinking stuff, but it's always going to be somebody going to tell you, right? So everybody thought it, Peter was like, grab them. Like, what, what do you mean? You can't leave us. We're nobody without you. That's really what he wanted to say. You know, so Jesus, you know, you know, probably pop up side there. So Jesus said, that's just my imagination. But Jesus, it says Jesus rebuked him and said, get me behind me, Satan. He didn't even say Peter. He said, you savor the things that be of men, but not the things that be of God. He said, your panic is because you, you're thinking about what's going on around you in this earth realm. But, but you don't understand, it's expedient that I know. It's sit on the right hand of the Father. What I'm doing, see, the goal is not for you to depend on me to do it. So if something comes up, like we was on the sea that day. See, the, the Bible didn't get an extra conversation. I, I'm giving you the extra conversation. I get inside information from the Holy Spirit, so he gave me the extra conversation. The extra conversation, because we got the highlights in the Bible. Jesus is like, remember we was on the sea that day? That storm came. 
Did you hear what I said when I got when, when y'all got me up out of my sleep when I was resting real good on the waves that was on the boat? I said, where's your faith? And then you remember the other day when y'all was out on the storm, I, I, I told you to go to the other side. And then you figured, oh, go to the other side, but if there's a storm, you turn around and come back. And I had to walk out there in that water to help y'all. He said, that is not the ideal situation. Oh, you remember when they were filled with, with the legion of demons? You know, y'all yeah, was doing good when it was like little weak demons, like the low-level demons. But when it got to like the hierarchy demons, when it was legion, y'all panicked just because the dude started shaking. So, you know, y'all said, we cast you out in the name of Jesus like you did before, but then the dude said, ah, cast you out. Uh, okay, uh, Jesus, Jesus. So then when I showed up, you remember what the guy said? When I showed up, the guy said, uh, how come your disciples can't cast this one out? Did you remember my response? Now, how long am I going to be with y'all before y'all get it? Bring me the boy, man. And he did the same thing, ah, cast you out. Cast you up. Matter of fact, what's your name? Oh, about 2,000 y'all up in that piece. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cast you over these pigs right here. They're going to jump in the water so y'all can drown. Because y'all just tripping. He ain't flinched. He said, the goal is not for me to have to show up for anything. If I go to sit on the right hand of the Father, God gives me all power. I can intercede and I can inject that power in you. And you can do everything that I did. But since you're so busy savoring the things that be of men, you're all about this temple, and I'm trying to give you the eternal. You're all about, you're like the mall cop. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Oh, that's down, that's, that's on the third level. There we go. No, don't run. Take your time. Hey, hey, my man, where you going? Who said you could park there? The mall cop. No, 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 when we trip on those people, don't we? I know y'all don't talk about the mall cop. The security guard. Man, they don't toy cop. Man, ain't gonna try to tell me what to do. That's how y'all roll it. That's what the demons say. Oh, toy disciples trying to tell me what to do. You ain't got no power. God's trying to get you power. That's all I'm saying. Trying to get you access to power. Trying to bring the heaven to earth. We pray it all the time. I'll follow one in heaven. I will be on that will be done. That kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Who are we praying for? Because mama told me to pray. That was the Lord's prayer. That's what I'm praying for. Oh, it means it comes true? Yes, it does. It's not a ritual. It's a life. It's real. See, see uh, the scripture says, 2 Corinthians 3, 5, it says, uh, you have the form of godliness, but you're denying the power. See, he's trying to get power to you. See, the form of godliness is in the earth realm. I look at it. But if they look at the books in the heaven realm, you ain't even in the role. You ain't a nobody. Remember I gave you an example the other week, the sons of Sceva. It was like, we cast you out. They saw Paul walking in power. Paul was like, oh, a demon? What you doing there? Get out of here. Look at a person. And, and the demon, the demon's inside the person. He look at the person eye to eye. And, and, and the witch go, oh, Lord, I got to get out of here. Man, why you, why you even confront this dude? That's how they walk by and the shadow was healing people. Yes. So, so, so the guy, the guys are looking like, man, this dude is powerful. So, okay, get, hey, get a pad. Name of Jesus. <laughs> Cast, oh, okay, oh, no, 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 change it, man. Cast you out, name of Jesus. Cast you out. Okay, we should be able to do that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> do he look like he, did he wave his hand or anything? He laid hands on. He, we lay hands on that person. Okay, lay, cast you out. Let me just lay hands. Walks up to the next person. Well, I don't want to use you because the person will be right here. So, filled with demons. We cast you out in the name of Jesus that Paul preaches. So, the demons go, Paul? No, Jesus? We know Jesus. See, in, in the heaven realm, Jesus got all the power. I always shaking up stuff in the spirit realm. He said, Paul, we know. I always shaking up stuff in the spirit realm. We ain't never even seen you in that room. You ain't got no authority. Jumped all over the corner guy. <laughs> Took over him. They had no power. Had the form of godliness, but denying the power. Frightened like they got power. 
Because they want to be a moral cop, toy cop. Their significance is whatever the world says, not approval from God. See, see, I lived a long life, a long, long life, and my whole approval was the basketball one. That's my significance. If I drop 60, I'm good. Matter of fact, you carry that the 60 point day. For, you know, you always, you know, that's like your reference every once in a while. Yeah, you know, I play, yeah, I dropped about 60 that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so you, everything is, you know, I won this championship. I got this trophy. You got this, this, that. So your whole approval is what they say in the basketball world. So if you have a bad game, you feel bad. But, but God crossed me over. To my approval is what he said. So that standard is different. He's not gonna have me settle for less than my design. He's not gonna have me settle for less than fulfillment. He's not gonna have me doing anything outside of purpose. He'll allow success, but only for me to take the steps of preparation to cross into purpose. But he's not gonna allow me to live in success at the expense of fulfillment. He's not gonna allow me to live in success at the expense of fulfillment. You know, like when you get that one little success. And you just live there? Well, I'm just good. I just, this is fine right here. Yeah, it was fine right here. But life is still moving. So what pleased you today is going to be frustrating tomorrow. It's atrophy. You know, like when you got that brand new, whatever it was, car, watch, whatever. You're like, oh, this is so wonderful. You're almost like sitting in it the whole day. No, I'm good. Let's just do the music in here. No, I'm going for another ride. Just drive around. But after a while, you sit in the same car and you're like, okay, that leather really looks like vinyl. <laughs> and this walnut dashboard looks like plastic. <laughs> I say the only thing in here that really looks expensive is the emblem that says Mercedes. And actually, the only way I really feel good is I have to picture what everybody else sees outside watching me drive. Because on the inside, it don't look like what everybody's seeing me drive on the outside. Because on the inside, it looks like a Chevy. <laughs> what a different emblem. There's just a couple names in here. There's an emblem and bows. That's it. It's like everything else is. And it's costing me more for maintenance. Well, <laughs> they just charged me $100 to, to fix a $2 light. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 your, your perception starts to change when you cross into the kingdom. Now you live more of a life of fulfillment, not temporary success. Not that front life, that conditional life. You meet all the conditions, you're good. If you don't, they treat you like God. Our way out of this deception is God. God repentance is our way out. The scripture says the Lord opens, opens the eyes of the blind. Uh, Psalms 146, 8. And uh, David asks in, in Psalms 19, 12, he says, uh, Lord, please cleanse me from my secret faults. <laughs> secret faults. Uh, secret faults. That means everybody don't see them, but you know they are in there. And then Psalm 98 says, our secret sins are revealed in his presence. So when we get into the presence of God, we'll see these things in our blind spot that we're not seeing that's been keeping us from where we're trying to get to go. Which, you know, like, it's like you keep walking through, oh, this is good. You go into the airport, and you, you're trying to walk through to the, to the terminal, and then, beep, 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 beep. you can't go through there. It's like, no, I'm good. I can keep my pockets and everything. No, you got something that's going on through the tech. And you don't know what it is. You didn't know you had something in your jacket pocket. So if you didn't go through the detector, you wouldn't have realized it. So when you go through the detector of, of, of the presence of God, it, it helps you know, oh, no, you can't take that pride in it. Oh, sorry, that's not going to the next level. Let's work on that pride, and then we'll elevate you. You can't take that in there. Oh, no, the little things that you're watching on the side when nobody's around. Ah, sorry, no, no. Uh, that's going to blow everything up when we get with those. Because what you're seeing on, on film, you're going to see a virtual reality. How's you going to resist that? Nope. nope. Got to get that out the system, too. I said, no problem. We can do it. We know. I, I got what it takes. You know, you'll be cleansed through the word, John 15, 3. Clean, 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 clean it right out. You know, just repent. Accept that you're missing it there. Uh, I'll cleanse you of the sin. And, and, and I forgive you of the sin and cleanse you of the unrighteousness. And we keep on moving. Yeah, get this done. You ready? Let's rock and roll. So we got So getting in the presence of God is going to help us. Now, the scripture says in Psalm 51, 6, it says, God desires truth in the inward part.